ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. I always see it. It's the only thing I see. Welcome back to the 504. <laughs> Stevie, can you please stop talking? Thanks it's for having for me, Sheba. Best awards. This is about Chef Amanda, because since she's here tonight, the nominees are all food related. So let's get started. Weddings are getting more and more extravagant. One in India had an interesting menu item. It was rice topped with leaves of 24 karat gold which is floating all over the internet because people are like, oh my goodness, this is so crazy and extravagant. I don't, I couldn't find if you were supposed to eat them. I would assume you'd have to move them out of the way. I don't Wait, know. That, that looked like cooked rice. <laughs> yeah. It was cooked that rice. That wasn't the kind that you throw at the girl. No, this was no, like they for the eat food. It. Oh, you can eat that. You I feel like now that seeing it, hair? it might be like the sheets of gold foil. Like, have you ever seen like a, a chocolate uh, bonbon or something with yeah. gold on top? Yeah. I feel like that's what it is. It's just a waste of money. Oh, okay. Pay yeah. me the extra and I'll It also seems yeah. a... You make it for it us. It seems a little lazy. I mean, I was expecting gold rice, <laughs> like rice of gold. That was just a little on the top. All right, guys, let's move on to our second nominee. A teenager in eastern China had to have one of his breasts partially removed. It grew into the size of an A-cup bra. The young boy is 19. He said it started growing when he was 13. It's believed to be a man boob that was caused by the consumption of fast food. How tragic is this? So, like, maybe he had more fat cells in that area? But it, they think the fast food some kind of way made the cells grow or, I don't know, did something to it. That looks like more than an A. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to throw that you out there. You think that's a B? Yeah. Yeah. That's a B in that cow. case, we're going to stop at Chick-fil-A on the way. Wait, stop it. fast food? Really? <laughs> Fast food is terrible for you, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, but that? Like, I would just ex expect, like, all of your fat cells <laughs> to expand, not just, like, the, the one. single area. It's, is it like Rihanna, who only gains weight in the right places? <laughs> Wait, you know? What? Remember Rihanna? Everybody was like, oh, Rihanna got fat. Like, Rihanna gained weight. And then when she showed up at something and she was half naked, you were like, yeah, girl, you gained it in all the right places. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot what ever. the story I is. <laughs> what were we talking about? All right, the, the boob. I don't right. know. Like, you want this to be a hot mess story. I, I feel, I'd feel mean if I voted for it. I mean, this poor dude's got one boob. I mean... Well, not anymore, right? Well, he got rid of a boob. Well, yeah, but I mean, if the fates were kind, wouldn't he, they at least give you two? I mean, you can't yeah. do nothing with one. What is a man going to do with two? I mean, more than with one. You either have zero or two. Well, I guess so. Yeah. What about the fast food deal? Are you into fast food as a real chef who cooks? No, absolutely not. I know, fast food is trash. junk. It's trash, trash garbage. Unless you're hitting it after the bars late night. And yeah. then, then it doesn't count. Treat yourself. Yeah, that, <laughs> that completely doesn't count. Mm -hmm. That's just a treat yourself moment. Yeah. Oh, man, this poor child. Stay away from the fast food. Hey, yeah. Wait, you wait. Eat fast food. But, what? But if by this rationale, women will be eating more fast food because they're like, it's gonna make my boobs bigger. No, I have heard not that not just young one. girls, <laughs> yeah, but oh, not just one. one. Yeah, you would only have one boob. I have heard though theories that younger girls are getting boobs faster because of fast food. I, well, I don't know that yeah. it's true. I'm not. I'm gonna put it out there. That I have no scientific evidence to back this. I don't know if it's because of fast this. food or if it's because of the hormones. I've heard of that yeah. too. It's the government. USDA, they just allow everything now. Mm -hmm. Floodgates open. Yep. Go no, ahead, food no, expert. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> Wait. No. No. <laughs> Moving on. The jellyfish population is exploding. Who knew? A scientist from the University of Southern Denmark has developed a method of turning them into a potato chip-like food. Dried jellyfish have actually been eaten for oh. centuries in Asian cultures. The process takes about 30 to 40 days, and the finished product has a somewhat grist. Mm texture that many Westerners they say don't like. Look at this mess. Oh, a lot of things in Asian I mean, culture looks, that they eat. It that, looks pretty though. No, it doesn't look no. pretty. Well, not when they pick it up close like that, it looks dirty. But when they had it on the plate with the other colors, <laughs> yeah. would you eat it? No, it looks like this is kind of gross, but it looks like I'm peeling at the beach. Right? Oh, gross. like you shed yes. something no, and then you're you. eating it. Yeah. yeah. Like Goldfinger when yes. he when eats the skin. Yeah. yeah. No oh. thanks. I uh, don't think this is a hot mess at all. I mean, I wouldn't eat it, but I think all food is gross to whoever's not used to it. You know, you you like, educate us. Like, keep you. in mind, <laughs> keep in mind, uh, explaining this to someone in a different culture where you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We take the cow, right? Then we zap its brain. Then we cut it up. No, imagine in other cultures when they're like, all right, so you take this rat that's walking around the sewer, <laughs> and then. Because we eat Nutria down here. And Who eats Nutria? I mean, not me, but it's something 
in in Louisiana? I'm sure some people eat it, but that was a terrible example because none of us eat it. <laughs> all right, so after <laughs> the pig right. is gone, all of the drippings yeah. are in the bottom. Phoebe's using things that you we pick all it up eat as And then you eat the drippings. On Duck Dynasty, does nobody remember Miss K being like, I love squirrel brains? I don't they watch it, so I don't know. Them know them but I wouldn't sticks. be surprised if they eat it, but I don't eat You've eaten it. No, no. Okay. I mean, I would try the jellyfish chip just Why to be not? open to it. Yeah, but sure. Like, I'm sure. What does what flavor does it take on? Can you blend it with other things? But yeah, you chef it's it nothing up. That I chef really Amanda, we like, need a hot mess award winner. What are you gonna go with? Oof. You got jellyfish chips, boy with the boob. What was the first one? <laughs> Something about a wedding? Oh, the gold yeah, rice. The, rice. the bougie <laughs> rice. See what happens when I don't bring my notes to the show? I don't even remember what happened on it. What do you want I mean, to the hot with? mess has to be the boy with the boob. Okay, yeah. we're going with that then. Guys, you can listen to Stevie G and Teapot on the radio. <laughs> the Afternoon Swirl is weekdays from 2 to 6 on B97. And make sure you follow them on Twitter at Stevie B97 and at Teapot B97. And Chef Amanda is switching into taco mode for us after the break. This is going to be yummy. Stick around, guys.